people. And uh, it really takes a lot of people to pull off an event like this. And my hat's off to, uh, uh, to Matt Logan here and the CNO Canal Trust for putting on the third annual Canal Pride Days. But the Canal Pride Days is one of those things that helps us connect to the communities. And there are communities up and down the canal. Uh, when I think about all the school kids that live along the canal, there are about a million school kids who live within just a few miles of the towpath. Uh, it's an incredible uh, resource. Um, <clears throat> let me just say that uh, one of the ways that we get connected to the communities is through our elected officials. And I am very pleased to have Congressman Van Hollen here with us this morning because he's been very instrumental in helping the park connect to the communities here in Montgomery County. And Congressman, it's a real honor to have you here this morning, and I very much appreciate, appreciate your efforts to help us connect to the community. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, uh, Kevin. I want to join with uh, Kevin Brandt in thanking all of you, uh, the volunteers uh, in our community, for being here uh, this morning, and the volunteers who put in an extra amount of hours as well and have been recognized uh, for your efforts because this is an incredible uh, community resource uh, here in our national capital region. Uh, to have the CNO Canal a National Park here uh, brings this community together and as uh, Kevin Brandt said it also brings people who visit Washington out to see the beautiful natural resources right here in the backyard of our nation's capital. Uh, and if you just had a chance to pass uh, the old Anglers Inn on the way over you can see that the parking lot is almost full. Uh, they are early on a Saturday morning, people walking up and down the canal, people going to the Billy Goat uh, Trail, uh, and it is just such a special place uh, for all of us. And I want to thank you and the community, not only for being volunteers to help preserve and protect it, but also for joining with hundreds, in fact millions of other people around the country as advocates uh, for the National Park Service. And I want to continue to work with all of you to make sure that the funding and the budget uh, for the National Park Service uh, is one that we can be proud of as Americans because our national parks are one of those visions that people had 100 years ago, more than that. Uh, way the beginning where people like President Teddy Roosevelt and even be people before him said we've got to set aside these special places uh, for the people uh, of this land. So I want to thank you because without your advocacy uh, we would not be able to continue to get the resources that are necessary. Next I want, to, I want to thank Kevin Brand and the people of the National Park Service, the men and women who uh, devote uh, their careers uh, to protecting and preserving these great resources. We could give Kevin and the National Park Service employees a great round of applause because uh, they have committed themselves uh, to this, this great task and obviously they are also uh, advocates. Uh, the good news is that the budget that was submitted for the National Park Service this, this year, even in, in, in tough economic times, uh, was a robust one in the Congress. We're going to work to see if we can't do even a little bit uh, more, but one of the new components of that budget beginning last year uh, was an effort to bring more young people, interns, uh, high school interns and college interns into uh, the management of natural resources, but also putting people to work uh, in our parks, you know, repairing trails, building new trails, getting young people outdoors and committed uh, to protecting the great spaces in our country. And so I think it's an important new initiative uh, and one that will help make sure that the next generation is committed to preserving uh, our great natural areas. Uh, finally, let me just uh, say to the Canal Trust, uh, to Roy Sewell, to Matt Logan, and all of you, thank you uh, for being stewards of this great place and for uh, your efforts uh, in connection with uh, protecting this area. I, I know we're going to have a check presentation in a little while, and I can tell you I look forward to working with you to continue to put together the funds to repair the breach uh, now near Old Anglers Inn uh, because we've got to get that uh, get that com completed. I should say that some of the recovery monies have helped uh, go both here and nationally uh, toward uh, these important efforts and we need to make sure that uh, those resources are there. So uh, it, finally I want to thank Roger Berliner uh, who as a member of our county uh, council uh, has been very vigilant uh, in trying to make sure that we work together at the 
local, state, and federal level as one community, uh, just like all of you are gathered here uh, to work for the purpose of protecting uh, this great uh, national park. So thank you, the volunteers, for what you're doing here today, what you're doing every day, and for continuing to talk to your neighbors and friends around the country about the importance of protecting our great national uh, parks. And that takes all of us uh, coming together to say, uh, we got it. We've, we've got to do this important thing uh, for our country. So without further ado, let me turn it back over to Kevin Brand and salute all of you for being here and for the work we're all going to be doing.